previously on Growing Up Hip Hop. So, Sean, Titi, struggling with this wedding. Tyran does not want to get vaccinated. Devonna got into it with Sequoia about some old school Twitter beef. He had to sit down with Sequoia. Look at y'all being grown and whatnot. Like, what y'all doing? Why are we beefing? Let's figure it out. Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. The episode begins in the desert. When the fun ends, Eric brings up Sean's wedding. The married guys, Eric and Jojo, give Sean advice, specifically marriage advice, and that marriage is not going to be easy. Jojo also wants Sean to not go into the wedding with any drama. It gets more challenging. It gets life. challenging. It gets yes. more challenging in life as a man. Don't yeah. make him feel like it makes it get it doesn't get harder, bro. The wedding list comes up and Taryn gets asked if Egypt and Pepper are going and he and Sean remain mum on that part. Egypt and Sam come. What happened? We What's want your, your family, family coming? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, he is family. I'm saying we're stuck here. With yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's the case. Is Tyran, is, is, is mama and uh, sister coming to you? Oh, I don't know. I don't, know Ask him. I don't even know. Meanwhile, Sequoia's with her mom, Tiny, who wants the ladies to squash their beef. Tiny mentions how she's quite annoyed with the tension between Sequoia and Savannah. What's up? I'm so annoyed by the whole Savannah situation. In fact, Tiny's going to talk to Stevie J about Savannah running up on Sequoia. Sequoia's not sure that the talk will even do anything, calling Savannah disrespectful. While well, she is. Later on, YDB meets up with Eric and Jojo shopping for baby clothes. His girlfriend is having another baby and it's the seventh for him. This brings up how they have multiple siblings and how it affected them differently. Specifically, Eric and Jojo didn't want to have kids and not be married. I didn't want to be doing the same thing that my father did, is having so many broken homes out there and that's when I took the transition to say hey you know let me get married let me show my children something different that I didn't see you feel right. what I'm saying I had so many siblings growing up I didn't feel the time sometimes yeah and, and then my parents being divorced I don't want to never ever get divorced like meanwhile YDB wants his kids to not rely on becoming hip-hop artists some of my brothers and sisters are fighting over uh royalty wow so, wow, wow yeah so it's even it's hard to even you know live in that, that these shoes right now okay tyran visits his mom at her la hotel she's getting ready to go back on tour so she's happy to see her son they do talk about titi's wedding and that the wedding isn't happening in jamaica titi is having it in florida they skirt around the fact that pepper is not invited and she is torn you, you good oh i'm good She's mad that Titi didn't invite her, yet she's happy Titi is getting married. You know what? There's one side that I'm like so angry how everything went and all the drama, but hoping I would be there. I think so. I think. A little bit. A little bit. Devon and Sequoia are in the studio working on their projects when Eric stops by. Eric checks in on Sequoia and Sequoia asks about his sister Erica. She just had a baby and she's working on a documentary about the passing of their father. Eric says Erica believes conspiracy stories surrounding their father and Eric doesn't want much to do with any of that. That is not a story to be told. That's a something, an investigation. It's, a, it's okay, an investigation okay. of his death. Feeling like, you know, okay. something conspiracy happened. Oh, and okay. they want to investigate that. And, you know, I, I feel to a point, you know I mean? I got to let, you know, my father rest in aspect of that. Uh, I'm about putting that. his legacy up, you know, yeah. for the better. When Lazy stops by, Sequoia plays for him her latest project. He's impressed with the song, but afterwards, they talk about the incident with Savannah and he tells Sequoia to make peace with Savannah. Yeah, make peace. 
The next day, Stevie J and Stevie Jr. meet with Sequoia and her mom, Tiny. Stevie tells them he heard about what happened. He's shocked because he feels they're all family. In fact, Stevie Jr. suggests that they all get together on a record. But Sequoia lets Stevie know she's not interested, saying Savannah is out of control. You know, I don't think she would be okay with that. It's not even about that. It's, it's about what kind of resolution we are. Despite Sequoia saying she felt disrespected, Tiny says she wants both of them to move past it. Sequoia's willing to move on, but it's going to depend on Savannah. Steve then says he's going to talk to Savannah and Sequoia wants him to talk to her before she sees Savannah again. Meanwhile, Titi is back in LA and she is out with her son Leith. Taran is with them and Titi mentions a wedding planner quoted 150,000 US dollars for the wedding. Speaking of the wedding, Taran mentions he saw paper the other day and Titi wants Taran to not get in the middle of them. But he mentions Pepper looked rather sad about not being involved. Taran says she should reach out to Pepper. However, Titi isn't interested in doing this. And I am 100% behind Titi. I put all the effort I could put into it. Oh my god, you, are you really like not trying to fix this at all? At all. I'm done with anything trying to fix it. She tried to reason with them several seasons ago and I'm over it too. Stevie J finally meets up with Savannah while she's shopping at a boutique. Stevie J tries to bring up the incident and Savannah does her best to deflect. Stevie lets her know she doesn't want Savannah in these streets fighting. Listen, Savannah, I don't want you fighting. All right? I don't fight. Whatever happens, happens. I'm just putting the hands on people and all that. No, 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 no. I didn't put my hands on anybody. You didn't put your hands on nobody? And Savannah disagrees and tells Stevie she'll punch him in the face like she did that girl. But if we're expecting an apology, hell might freeze over first. It seems like you're deflecting right now. I will punch you in your face like I did that girl. You call Eventually, it dawns on Stevie that hell might freeze over before Savannah ever apologizes to Sequoia. What did you think about this episode? If you could pick sides, are you team Savannah or team Sequoia? I am definitely team Sequoia. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, see you soon. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.